So this is the second part of the protein-protein docking example. So we've used docking, protein-protein docking, we've set up the project, the receptor, the ligand, <coughs> we selected the epitopes, now we're making receptor maps. So you enter the project name, the grid size and the maximum van der Waals um, interaction that you can allow, so allow some softness in the docking, press OK. It takes a while for the maps uh, to be generated, but once they're finished, go to docking, protein, protein, docking, and then choose docking batch. And you can either choose to run it on your local machine or, or via a PBS um, on a cluster. Here we use the local machine. So project name, PP doc, and and choose the starting position for the ligand. So in the previous step, we we picked out some epitopes where we'd like um, the docking to start, uh, the docking to run. But you can choose individual epitopes for the ligand to start here. So if you um, if you select zero, as it is now by default it will sample all the points on the receptor you, that you selected as epitopes. If however you want to break your jobs down into smaller chunks you can enter the number of a position on the receptor. Um, so, so if we chose epitope number 12 we could add 12 here and then run the job and choose another epitope and set the job running for a different size so that you can you can run these jobs in parallel that way. But anyway, if you just press zero, it will, it will use all the epitopes that you selected in the previous test. Go OK. And then you'll see that one background job is running in the top of the screen. You can monitor the progress of your docking job here. Or go to Windows, Background Jobs. So once the docking has finished, you will see a message saying the docking batch for project PP doc has finished. Press OK. And then you will see a table of the results ranked by energy. And you can view the complexes by clicking on the table and it loads each one. So here's the ligand and the receptor. So a single click changes the ligand position. So if we color the um, this is the receptor. So if we color the receptor red, you can see the ligand on the surface. And the table's ranked by energy. So it's single clicked. If there is a complex with good energy, you may but want to refine the interactions between the ligand and receptor by allowing some flexibility in the, in the side chains by right clicking on the on the confirmation in the table and select refine confirmation and that will perform a refinement of the interactions 